This video is about polynomials, so we'll start off with what is a polynomial. Well, the prefix poly means many, so it means it's an expression with many terms. So we have different names as well for certain polynomials um, with certain number of terms. So for example, a monomial, that prefix there means one, so it's a, a monomial has only one term. So for example, it could be something like x is a monomial. Okay, binomial, that will be something with two terms, so maybe x plus 5. And then a trinomial is a polynomial with three terms, so something like x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, and then above that we'll just call them polynomials, so if they have four terms, five terms, however many they have. Okay, so let's look at some things that we can do with polynomials. So let's look at adding polynomials. So when you're adding polynomials, you have to remember that you collect like terms. So what that means is you're going to bring together the terms that are similar. So x squareds go together, x cubes go together, constants go together, x's go together, that type of thing. So if we look at the first example here, we have 2x squared plus 5x minus 3, and then we're adding that to the other trinomial over here, x squared minus 8x plus 6. So I have to collect my like terms. So I see that I have a 2x squared and a 1x squared. So those are like terms. If I bring those together, I end up getting 3x squared. Okay, next I have 5x and a negative 8x. Remember the sign that's in front of the term kind of goes with it. So I have 5x minus 8x will be negative 3x. And then I have negative 3. So maybe we'll put a square around that. Negative 3 and a positive 6. So the two constants you can bring together. So negative 3 plus 6 would be positive 3. Okay, so that's what the sum of those two polynomials is equal to. So now if I look at the next example, same idea, I just want to collect my like terms. So I have a 5x cubed and I have a negative 2x cubed. So those are like terms, they go together. So then I have 3x cubed, 5 minus 2 is 3. Next I'll look for x squared. It's nice also to have your exponents uh, decreasing. So I'll look for terms with an x squared. So I see here I have an x squared here, but I don't have any x squareds in my first polynomial. So then that means it just pops back in there by itself. Now I'll look for x's next. So I see I have a positive 2x here, and I have a negative x here. So 2x minus x will be a plus x. And then lastly, I'll look at my constants. So I have plus 1 and plus 3, so that will be plus 4. So that's what I get when I add those two polynomials together. So you see, even though I had uh, two trinomials, so two polynomials with, or sorry, sorry, I had a trinomial and a polynomial with four terms. So I did end up getting a polynomial in the end that also had four terms. Okay, let's see how we subtract polynomials. So here, it's going to work the same way as how I added polynomials. So again, I want to collect like terms. I just have one extra step of bringing through a negative sign, maybe to make my life easier. So what I want to do first is if I see subtract here, I want to bring this through the second polynomial and just change all the signs. So I'm going to multiply everything through by a negative here. So this becomes positive, negative, positive, and then that will become negative. Okay, so now I collect my like terms, so I'm looking for x squared, it's my highest power. So I have 4x squared minus x squared. So I'll end up with 3x squared. And then next I'll look for x's, I have minus 3x plus 5x. So now I have 2 plus 2x. And then next is my constants, I have no constants in the first polynomial, so when I'm looking in the second one, I just have a negative 3, so minus 3. Okay. And then in the second example, same idea, I want to bring through this negative sign to the second polynomial here. 
So just change all the signs, make this a plus, minus, and a minus. So now I can bring the, together the polynomials. So I have 2x squared, and I don't have any x squares in the second polynomial, so that will stay. Then I have a positive x and a negative x, so those actually just cancel each other out. And then I have negative 6 plus negative 7, so I get negative 13. Okay, so that's it. So remember when you're adding, subtracting polynomials, all you're doing is collecting the like terms, and just watch the sign that's in front of your term and make sure you take that with the term. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.